OpenAI just released GPT-5, which is so viral right now on the internet and it's not without a reason. So in this video guys, I will be breaking for you all of the benchmarks, I will explain you why GPT-5 demolishes other OpenAI models, and also why you need to use it from now in all of your automations inside NADEN. Because this video will be particularly dedicated for automations, I will explain you how you can connect GPT-5 to your NADEN automations, and also will test out this model on a few different examples. But now let's cover what is new with GPT-5. So, GPT-5 is our smartest, fastest, most useful model yet, with built-in thinking that puts expert-level intelligence in everyone's hand. So simply, we are introducing GPT-5, our best AI system yet. GPT-5 is a significant leap in intelligence over all our previous models, featuring state-of-the-art performance across coding, math, writing, health, visual perception, and more. GPT-5 is a smarter, more widely useful model. GPT-5 not only outperforms previous models on benchmarks and answers questions more quickly, but most importantly, it's more useful for real-world use cases. We've made significant advancement in reducing hallucinations, instructions following, and minimizing sick of fancy wide leveling up GPT's 5 performance if free and free of ChatGPT's most common uses, writing, coding, and health. Also, what's very interesting, Sam Altman during the GPT-5 launch said, GPT-3 sort of felt to me like talking to a high school student, GPT-4 felt like you're kind of talking to a college student, GPT-5 is the first time that it really feels like talking to an expert in any topic, like a PhD level expert. And I can say based on the statistics we'll cover in this video, it's true. So actually, um, as you may know, Cloud, for an example, is a big competitor when it comes to ChatGPT, when it comes to coding. But GPT-5 is our strongest coding model today, to date. It shows particular improvements in complex front-end generation and debugging larger repositories. It can often create beautiful and responsible websites, apps, and games with an eye for aesthetic sensibility and just one prompt. That's totally great. Additionally, creative expression and writing. GPT-5 is our most capable writing collaborator yet. So you can see like we've got ideas into compelling resonant writing with literacy, depth, and rhythm. So that's cool. When it comes to the health, um, it's our best model for health-related questions, empowering users to be informed about and advocate for their health. Um, but now let's move on to some benchmarks. So we've got the evaluations. So actually, GPT-5 is much smarter across the board, as reflected by its performance on other academic and human-evaluated um, benchmarks, particularly in math, coding, visual perception, and health. So here we've got competition math, which is IM 2025, and there you can see like GPT-5 Pro is 100% um, in accuracy, and um, GPT-5 uh, without the thinking, so here also we've got thinking and without thinking, um, is 71, but with thinking it's approximately 100%, which is a huge amount. For example, when it comes to the OpenAI 03, it's um, 98%, but actually for GPT-40, which was the previous model, it's only 42%. So just look on the difference between these two models. Like, it's really shocking for me because, like, the difference is only one model, okay? Um, this is not the difference between GBT3 and, let's say, GBT5. Um, here we've got Frontier Math Tier 1. So here, accuracy, GBT5 Pro, 32%, GBT5, 26 uh, Without tools, so GBT5 without tools. So let's say coding and so. And uh, we've got 13. And here, um, yeah other statistics. So we've got other mathematic tournaments, actually tests, however, it's really interesting. So PhD level um, science questions. So the best model actually um, 89.4, but for example, here you can see GBT4. So it has 70.1%. Um, so 20% improvement between these models. And I think um, it should be significant. Significant when it comes to the level, science questions, and just more complex queries. So I think it's true that it's like PhD and the latest model was like the college student, I guess. Then we have other statistics. Um, of course, we won't cover them uh, like in depth, all of them. So here, for example, you've got expert level questions across subjects. You can just preview. GPT-5 Pro uh, plus Python and search with block list has 42%. When it comes to the latest model, so GBT 4.0 without the tools, it's 5%. So it's really small, you know. Um, but what's also really interesting, when it comes to coding, look what is happening right here. Like, this is a huge difference. This is the most significant difference, I, I can say. Because actually, look, GBT 5 with thinking um, achieved 74.9% accuracy 
Uh, meanwhile, GPT-40 has only 30.8%. And now there are different like opinions. Like if GBT OpenAI just gets back like all of the programmers and so on. Because we could see so far that all of the people that are programming are not using that much OpenAI models, but more cl cloud and other different applications, maybe Grok. But for now, like this is the difference, 45%. I mean, like it's really, really huge. When it comes, for example, to multi-language code editing, it's 60%. So it's three times better than the GBT4. Here, like twice, above twice. That's crazy. Um, and in terms of our AI automations, it can be really great because actually, remember, actually, we can create some code. Let's say we need to create some code within the automation with AI. So then we can use GBT5, which is just really great. And we can create much more sophisticated uh, projects, workflows uh, with really accurate coding. Because just imagine, like, if we had um, here um, GBT4 and it failed for coding, then uh, we need to have just safety nets like um, automations crash and so on. However, now we may have like twice as big accuracy as previously. That's again crazy. From other interesting facts, we've got college level visual problem solving. So it's 12% better. Graduate, graduate level visual problem solving. So 20% better. Uh, then for health, actually we are not really interested about it. You can like open this entire article and read it. But for now, I don't want to waste your time. But what's very important, like, look, faster and more efficient thinking. F GBT-5 gets more value out of less thinking time. In our evaluations, GBT-5 with thinking performs better than OpenAI O3, which was the latest thinking model, uh, with 50 to 80% less output tokens across capabilities, including visual reasoning, agent coding, and graduate level scientific problem solving. So just 50 to 80%. Like it's huge, really huge, huge amount. And overall, I think it's revolutionary moment. And I and I think GBT5 will take take control over the internet right now. Like, I mean like 60% encoding, just imagine it's not 10%, it's not 15%, even 25, which is a huge amount, but it's 60%. So that's totally crazy, okay? We've got software engineering, PhD level science questions, and so on and so on. Other interesting statistics. GPT's five responses are 45% less likely to contain a factual error than GPT-4. So 50% less, that's huge. And when thinking GPT-5 responses are 80% less likely to contain a factual error than OpenAI M03. Another thing, just look. More honest responses. I've got for you a question. Did you have a situation when ChatGBT said to you, um, you are doing right? I mean, it was lying for you, to, to you sometimes, you know, about some specific things. For example, I had like, I had to take some tests about my knowledge about some topic. And then um, accidentally, like, I don't know why, for what reason it gave me like overrated score. So instead, let's say I should have like five out of 10. It gave me eight out of 10, okay? So kind of, it didn't want to insult me in some specific way, but for sure I was really like angry on that and I wasn't that happy that every time I need to say, all right, be honest, be very strict, roll for me and just say how it is. But for now, it's something really better with the GBT-5. Okay, but now let me guide you through how you can connect GBT-5 to your AI agent and use it right away inside an IDEN. So simply you go ahead to AI agent to the model and now you've got the model, so list here. And what you do in that specific case, you type GBT-5 and you, you should get um, the models here. So we've got GBT-5, we've got the, la the, the latest update here. Like this is the date, this is the la latest update. We've got GBT-5 mini, GBT-5 nano, and so on and so on. So simply you can pick it and then use it. When it comes to the costs of the new models, I can say they are pretty cheap. So for an example, GBT-5 input costs per 1 million tokens is $1.25, output cost is $10. And when we go ahead and we just take the casual situation one um, specific request to GBT-5, it costs um, actually one cent approximately. Uh, meanwhile, GBT-4.1 costs um, also approximately one cent. Um, also here we've got other statistics. So actually here you can see GBT-4.0 costs also one cent. So this is pretty much like, like even GBT-5 is cheaper. 
So overall, there's no difference in costs at all. For testing out this GPT model on particular use cases, first I've got a LinkedIn posting machine, so I can execute the workflow, and here you can see actually I've got GPT-5 to generate for me the content. So content for my LinkedIn post, so let's wait, and we'll compare it with GPT-4.0. So simply that's the post created by GPT-5, so GPT-5 just changed the game. I simply also requested to create for me the post, let me show you. GPT-5 was released, create for me an, an interesting post. Um, it's not just an update, it's a leap into a new era of AI. I mean, the structure is so crazy, so great. Um, we've got all of the statistics, so a research partner fact checking itself in real time, a tutor adapting to your personal learning style. Also here, um, you know, like we've got all of the information uh, along with hashtags. And for that case, we use GBT5. I mean, this response is really cool. But now let's move on to our GBT40. So let's change it for GBT4. And this is the response from GBT40. And I see it didn't adhere to my instructions because I didn't want to have this text formatted. Like here we've got, you know, HTML formatting. So text, which, which should be bolded. Um, so GBT5 better adhered to the content. Also, the content was differently structured. I feel like from GBT5, it was shorter, more concise. Um, we need to still remember like GBT40 is a great model. It's not that in that case, like there will be a huge, huge difference in that spe specific case. Already GBT4 is really cool. But even right now on this only one example, we can see the difference. So for me, the response from GBT5 was just better. Now let's see how it performs when it comes to tool calling. So simply here, I can execute the workflow and type the following sentence, actually Binance, Bitcoin, USDT, uh, actually here with big letters, uh, because it's my technical analysis AI agent. So let's see how it performs. It goes to our OpenAI um, GPT-5, and then it should call our um, analysis AI agent and news AI agent and give, me for, and give for me the proper data. So I can see here it called the tools in a proper way. So first we've got simple memory, then open AI to decide what to do. Uh, we call our analysis AI agent, news AI agent, then open AI twice to give us to give us a response. And at the end we've got technical analysis about um, the symbol we gave. So technical analysis, news summary, summary, and disclaimer. So it works really great in that particular case. Also I need to mention I had some problems with AI previously. When, let's say, we've got like a huge tools to call and then um, GBT40 sometimes had some problems, but I believe GBT5 is now totally great and it will even manage better our extensions we've got inside AI agent. So now that's everything for this video and GBT5. Let me know actually what you think about it, what you think about GBT5, if you see huge differences, if you actually encountered some problems or not, and actually let me know what you think. I'm very curious, I'm very excited about this model because it can significantly improve our automations and everything we do inside NADEN. Um, also beyond, so let's say inside ChatGBT, maybe we create some instructions with um, actually our ChatGBT, so in that terms also it's, it's just better. Um, again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next material.